Hi, it's Sam Heifel from Entertainment Weekly. I am here at New York Comic Con with the cast and creator of Teen Wolf. Yay! Yay! The last Comic Con. The last for Teen Wolf. Comic Con. You guys just got off the stage. I want to talk, I want to start with Lyndon actually, because oh. Oh. we know. <laughs> Is this surprising? We know, obviously, Styles is kind of erased, effectively, is kind of the thing of this season. Once he's taken, he no longer yeah. exists. So all of these characters we kind of see, I don't know if reinvented is the right word, Jeff, but it's like they're suddenly, they're a Sheriff Stalinsky who never had a son because he never kind of existed. Rebooted. Right, mm. exactly. So I'm curious, you know, what Sheriff Stalinsky like, looks like if he was never a father? How has he changed? Very similar to the way I look now. Um, <laughs> it, uh, no, I think that it changes everything. It changes who you are as a human being. It, it's, uh, it's, there's some interesting stuff that happens in this season that I can't go into, or the guy in front of me would probably just <laughs> kill me. Um, but it's, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, it, 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 you know, it's who, who we are who we have in our lives, who, you know, it, it, everything we do and, and the person, the people that we have around us, they, they shape us, they make us who we are. And so when you remove that huge piece, like a child, then it is, it's a very interesting question of, of who we what are. It's, it's, and that's what I was talking about. I think that, that this season touches on issues or concepts that are, Pretty advanced. I mean, it's it's pretty pretty interesting stuff. That uh, you know, what is a person? What what the ripple effect of that a person sends out? How it affects everything? How it affects the world? It's a uh, it's heady it's heady a stuff. Life. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Cool, cool answer. <laughs> Yeah. Well, Shelly, I like have kind of the same question for Malia because Styles was such a crucial part of her life when she kind of like entered this world, entered this pack. If he never existed for her, how was she maybe a little different? She's out of control. <laughs> That's fun. He's, he's what grounded her. Mm -hmm. He taught her to be a normal human. Um, so with his absence, I think we're going to see Malia losing control a bit okay. in all aspects. Yeah. Is, how is Melissa affected? I was like really thinking about this because Styles is so much like, you know, another son to her in so many ways. How has she maybe changed a bit? I think as a parent, you know, you're affected by what your child's going through. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's going to be big for season six. I also think, um, you know, when, when things start to go hinky, uh, it, different people come together for different reasons. And that's going to be really interesting in season six to see who, who maybe works together, who becomes an ally, who becomes... You know, an enemy. I mean, Looking you know, at you, Shelley. Yeah, Looking I mean, at you. Also, you what also I did. Have to think that, that <laughs> this person, you know, you have people in your life that are that are that, that are. There's a reason that you have relationships with other people. Right. And if that person's removed, do you have those same relationships with people? Sure. Okay, because I have two of the parents here. There's a question I have debated amongst my friends for years. Yep. Who's the most valuable parent on Team Wolf? Valuable. Oh. <laughs> That um, is a Sophie's I mean, choice. I refuse to answer. P. I think Gerard. <laughs> Most valuable grandpa. Peter. Gerard. Yeah. I forgot Peter. about that guy. Peter. Yeah. Uh, I forgot he was part of the joke. Uh, no, you can't answer that. Most valuable parent. There's a lot of people that No. Wait. So yeah. you've debated it. Where do you come from? Oh, yeah. 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 What's your answer? The oh, real parent. Why are you that? asking your friends this question? <laughs> yeah. I was actually asked this question. Why? I know. Sometimes I get asked <laughs> questions. Have very an weird. Answer. I actually will go with Melissa. Oh, that's yeah. very. She funny. saves a lot of. But there, yes. I, I don't think that there's one parent that's above any other. Oh, I mean, it's easy think... to say that when you're the winner. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like playing mafia. One's the doctor, one's the sheriff. It's just really Lincoln's wonderful just to be nominated. Being nominated. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's really Thank an honor. It was an honor to be um, to be in that discussion with these other worthy worthy. I was going to say London. We all know that but I'm I forgot one. that you had yes, the medical we background. Do. <laughs> yeah. Is it fair to say, and not because it's the final season, I just feel like the more I think about this big bad, the fact that it's taken styles, is it fair to say that this is like a more emotional season? Does it feel a little heavier, a little darker? It's it's more emotional. I wouldn't I wouldn't say it's actually that much darker mm -hmm. than stuff we've done. Um, there's still quite a bit of humor in it, and uh, um, but for when you take a person out of people's lives and it's, uh, it's dealing with a loss. Mm -hmm. So it is very much a season of loss and a season. We started with it being a season of memory, of remembering. 
um, because we were we were headed into our last season and we were thinking, how do we want to wrap this up? There's 20 episodes. There's two interconnected two two stories that are connected with each other that that wrap up the uh, our our series. And uh, we took a lot of um, time, and we're in these last 10 episodes. We're spending a lot of time as well, trying to think of how do we want these uh, characters to end. They go. Some of them will go on. Some of them will end. Uh, and but, when you uh, say in, <laughs> what exactly do you mean? But she still thinks she's going to get fired yeah. before the show is done. It's trying to give a great finale to each character as well as the show. Sure. I want to know what's on you all's kind of Teen Wolf bucket list. If there's one thing, whether it's like a character you really want to see with or something you want for your character before this all ends, if there's one thing you could get, what is it? Tyler, you start. Uh, a steady girlfriend. One that doesn't die or one that doesn't get sucked into the ground? You asked too Well, much. everybody dies. You just well, mean like I'm die not, soon? Die soon. Okay, sure. Not while we're dating. Or, or maybe we could die together like old. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Notebook style? I never saw it. Notebook style. Notebook style. Yeah. They die together. <laughs> they do. They die they together. They sleep. Oh, and it's because she has dementia. Or uh, Alzheimer's. Al Alzheimer's, yeah. Oh, uh, I did see it. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> Did you cry? No, I didn't. Holland, what's on your kind of Lydia bucket list? Maybe? Steady boyfriend. Um, <laughs> we can't we can't catch a break on the show? Uh, I would say. I mean, I've always wanted to be part of the hip hop contest, which will never happen. <laughs> that I've been gearing for, you know. I've got. Wait, come on. wait, you or I've Lydia. always wanted Lydia. Lydia to be in a hip hop contest. Oh, oh really? Like, like you know, step up style. Oh, that, nice. I did a break dance move just now, but that was, <laughs> this is my break It's not because you're awkward, it's just the dress. <laughs> just the dress, guys. We're stuck into it. Um, but, I'd yeah. I'd like to see Lydia get down. I would love to see Lydia get down. Some baggy yeah. pants. We can, we Whoa. can make that happen. Whoa! Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, uh -oh. Uh, oh Sorry, God, is it actually gonna happen? <laughs> yes, 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 <laughs> yes. A please dance make, contest. Please make careful, it happen. Careful, yeah, like careful when you get your, you know, get what you wish for. Yeah, that's, I've always joked about that, but um, I, I don't know what I think. Whatever is written for me is literally what I just I think about. I try not to think about. I try not to think outside those boundaries. But um, what do I want for Lydia? I want her to leave Beacon Hill. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think it's called Move. <laughs> they did that in the pilot of American Horror Story, and we are still here in Beacon Hill six <laughs> seasons later. Shelley, um, I think Malia needs like a little small victory, but like something like in her personal life, something maybe she can be proud of where she does like the half proud, you know, I'm too tough to feel that way. I don't know, I just mm -hmm. I think I think there needs to be like a small victory for Malia. Okay. Maybe I love personally. That. I really yeah. Yeah. I'm just take notes. I know, Jeff's just taking notes. Lyndon? No, it's Melissa. Um, <laughs> Melissa? I, you know, Mama McCall would like to hang out maybe with other moms. I always find Ooh. it fun when the parents get together so and have dirty. a reason to get together. My mom's available. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you. I know. Well, I'm not the winner. You. <laughs> He's bitter. bitter. I'm bitter. I'm a bitter loser. Uh, yeah. What would you like uh, for the sheriff? Uh, I'd like to hang out with moms. Oh. <laughs> of course you would. Well. <laughs> there you go. Okay. All right. So we're going to end picking it up what you're putting with down. Sheriff Stalinsky and a bunch of moms. We got that uh, scene, Jeff? You know, not okay. a bunch. We got it. <laughs> uh, All right. <laughs> Are we debating? Did they ever go on a date on this show? Nope. No. We've always no. had, I, I no, know, characters have always had flirty games. There's, There's been always been flirtation. flirty games. Okay. It's always been really nice. You know, it's like we have this inside joke whenever we have <laughs> scenes together, and it's very familiar and fun, and, uh, yeah. but no, no official no date. No official date. He was dating your mother. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah let's don't let's forget that. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. And in real life, Styles' is dad and Lydia's mom are me. Oh, yay. Uh, I was going to say, he goes home with one of the moms every time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. There you go. All right, well, thank you guys for stopping <laughs> thank you. by. Thank you. Thank you. Everybody Always stay tuned to EW.com for all your Comic-Con news. Mm.